Hello, and welcome to my redstone testing world. Okay, so you might hear my brother's drum in the background just because um, our um, our band teacher's here, and so he's just having some drum time right now. And so let's get on with this project. So I'm here at my redstone testing world, um, and don't mind that. That's just, um, that's just a farm failure. But so um, here is my printers and 3d printers so for my history's mysteries project um i would like to create the spider from a printer that i created in minecraft you can see that's the spider in yellow and then you can also see this is my second printer which is a printer that i'll be showing in a tutorial today um probably um, i might not have enough time but um, and you can see, um, that's the, what I can make of the spider, um, right here. So, um, I'll probably see if I can be expanding this in the next coming weeks, but let's get on to testing these. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy my world, because I'm, this is my original world, so I'm just going to copy this world. Sorry, it takes a while on um, mobile. Copy this, and let's see how they work. Okay, so um, I have something to confess. One of these does not work. Okay, so um, so um, I've spent um, I spent a couple days working on. Sorry, let the chunks load in. So I spent a couple days working on this world. I mean, on um, this project right here. Um. And um, I don't know what's wrong, um, but this might just be an outdated design. So and then um, I went on, this is a coming 3D printer. So and then um, I came on to making this um, printer, which is much more simple, but it gets the job done. Um, so let's start off and let's see how this printer works. Okay. So here I'm at this printer, and as you can see, um, the only two colors that we're using is orange and yellow. So I set command blocks to refill those, but not um, any other ones just because I'm not using them today. Oh, sorry, that's a block of iron. Um, but so um, what you do, um, this is the fastest, this is the best printer design that's um, out there. Um, I'll just need to update this, and I'll see what I can do. But usual printers of these styles takes around... 12 minutes this takes two minutes so um let's just press this button and this is a kill switch by the way so if i press this button i should be able to watch this print and you'll see um the spider design that it was originally supposed to be and what it is right now okay so um i'm gonna see if i can put this into a time lapse right now Okay, so hopefully there's a time lapse there. Um, I'll see what, if I can do that. But so, um, as you can see, probably um, it would help to add just another layer of pistons, probably, because you can see that there's some extra blocks that cannot get pushed. Um, but so what I think is really interesting when um, sorry, that was my um, boot just fell. Um, but so what I think is very interesting of why this isn't working is because. It fits, like, almost the exact amount. This is how much blocks it should be. This is how much blocks are in a double chest. Um, or that's how much spaces there are. So, it's not spitting out any extra blocks at the end. So, yes, um, this is really interesting because this should make the spider. Um, the yellow should make the spider and the orange should make the ground. So, it's kind of like a flip-flop in a different shape. But, um, I can probably, um, if I, 
if you don't want to update this, um, because, yeah, this is, um, this is probably just an outdated design, um, but, um, um, I've tried this five times, and it's been this consistent output that looks like the little face, so, um, it's consistent, so it can be translated into code, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of why this isn't working. So, yes, um, and by the way, why there's command blocks down here is because, um, so I don't have to keep refilling these, um, cause yeah, that'd be kind of, um, yeah, that'd be kind of stressful, like, filling them up a lot, so, but this can be made 100% in survival, so, that is the first printer, and so, yeah, it's not, um, it's, it's an outdated version, but if you want the quickest printer, then, um, I'll see what I can do to make this, um, updated, um, and yeah, I'll just get to the bottom of that, and by the way, yeah, so I think I said this before, but yeah, this is a 3D printer, um, but yeah, it's not done yet, and this brings us to our last design, this is a working design, and very simple, I can probably, um, show you guys in a tutorial, um, but this is, um, if you, um, if you're a redstone dork, like, like me, um, then you probably know this design, um, this is a very simple, um, this is an average printer, this design has been around for, um, a while, this was the first 3D, pr this was the first printer on Bedrock Edition, I think, um, or this, uh, this style, um, without command blocks, I'm pretty sure, so, what you do, you, um, you place your, um, whatever you want, just, like, you place your blocks down, um, in whatever, um, shape you want, just inside of this glowstone box, and then what you're going to do, you're going to place torches on top of them. As you can see, this is all filled up with torches. And then now we're just gonna break this bottom block. No matter which order, because um, this ones are already extended. Um, and then this design, it's, it's really standard the test of time. This is, um, the reason why it has not get, gone outdated is because um, all the redstone that's included in this is just the redstone basics. Um, just like a piston pushes things. It just uses the basics that will never be changed in red cell, hopefully. Unless there's a really good change. But, yes, so, um, that's why this design has held on and will probably hold on for the next generation of Minecraft. So, you can see that it's now popped through. Now all I have to do is press the button until all of this gravel is pushed down. I can probably make a slow redstone clock, but as of um, but as of now, I mean, this works, and you can see it's being printed. Obviously, it's not as high as of tech, but you can see, you get your print. Um, you can see the spider, um, and probably um, and probably when I build this and show it again I'm, I'm probably gonna remove those legs because it kind of makes it look different but you can see um here it is um because my paper color it was this it was orange concrete and then it got punched out with my ink color which was um yellow so it can only print in two colors other than the 16 colors of the um the 16 colors of the concrete powder of just minecraft colors and then um this one um so this one it's a pretty old design it's from bedrock alpha so it's yeah pretty old um but so anyways i'm gonna use this command block so i will not be showing this design off today um but um it it is really cool and it basically it also does use the fundamentals that's why it's hung on okay so um here's this print um, that we get from it, and let's go into building the printer.